Uh, thank you to the GTFCC and um, thank you Fru for um, inviting us to speak. So we'll be giving an update on the GTFCC cholera database. For those of you that were here uh, in October at the last annual meeting, we, we also gave an update then. So this is just um, giving a, a status update on, on the various things we've been working on it over the past eight months. So just as a reminder, the, the goal of the database is to serve as a centralized repository for cholera surveillance and other related data sources. And one of the key features is that the database is able to link locations and data from many different types of source documents. So we collect data, not just from ministries of health, but also from um, AFRO, from, from UNICEF, from various other sources that may be duplicated, but hopefully captures a broader picture of the landscape of cholera across the globe. And one of the key features we've been working on is the development of country and regional profiles that uh, can be used to summarize key cholera data and risk factors. And one of the primary uh, goals of this database when, when it gets released more widely is to support ministries of health as well as GTFCC stakeholders in monitoring progress towards roadmap goals. So I have here a video a screen capture of what the current cholera country profiles look like. So this is an example of our database uh, for a country profile in Ethiopia. And um, you can see that just to give you a sense of the layout. So first we have on the left, a primary figure, which uh, is able to display various other types of figures Whereas on the second we, uh, right hand side, we have a secondary data screen and along the top, various different buttons so that you can toggle different types of figures. And when we scroll down, um, there are additional pieces of information that you can see displayed. So uh, we have some information about observation collections, which are uh, all of the different data sources that are informing the country profile as well as source documents that um, are underlying those data. So to give you a sense of what we're looking at here, we have summary statistics of what is included in our database. So the most recent suspected case, which was reported in our database in December 2020, as well as the most recent confirmed case in Ethiopia, uh, also reported in December 2020. Those are uh, just giving us a brief um, update of, of what we have but you can also see that there are different kinds of figures. So we have on the left, the mean annual incidence of suspected cholera cases, which from 2010 to 2016, which is a modeled estimate from our group that was published a few years ago. And then on the right, access to improved water, which is also a modeled estimate from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. And one of the cool features is that you can zoom in and sort of explore uh, these various gridded data in, in a highly resolved way. And we also have these maps for uh, incident cases as well as uh, access to sanitation from similar sources. So modeled estimates that are at um, the gridded, at the grid cell level. Uh, you can also see that there are other types of figures. So we have modeled estimates of cholera seasonality across countries. Um, these are preliminary data that suggest that there are two different uh, seasonal regions within Ethiopia, the yellow one, which peaks around July, as well as a blue one on, on the Western side, which troughs in July and August. And, and these are estimates that we hope to update and provide across various countries. Um, as part of the National Cholera Control Plan, we also saw that um, Ethiopia performed a hotspot identification exercise. And these are the data from that exercise in 2019, 2020. And um, you can see that there are different priority levels, uh, high, medium, and low in the map. And you can see that the data on the right-hand side are the scatter plot that we see in the hotspot identification tool for mean annual incidence versus persistence. And you have the ability to scroll over different data points, look at the location name, the data that's associated with it and the specific statistics. Um, in addition, we also uh, 
gained access from for a vaccination campaign data from the DTFCC Secretariat. And that's what's displayed on the left-hand side now, where all of the places, all of the Laredas that had vaccination campaigns are displayed on the map with an associated table on the right-hand side, which shows, for example, Chiro Town had vaccination campaign with 98,000 doses administered and um, data that's still on, ongoing under collection um, in terms of vaccination coverage. So in addition, we have, um, if we go back to the summary info panel, we, we've also been developing this idea of unified data sets. So uh, data that can be summarized and is non-overlapping in space and time so that it can be used for external analyses. And um, it can be downloaded. And also there are other types of displays that we're currently developing that summarize the kinds of data that are um, present in the database. So here is, is kind of a summary of where a lot of the subnational data are located. We've also extended this to other countries. So you can see similar types of data for Malawi. We have multiple types of unified data sets available that are non-overlapping in space and time. And uh, you can also see the vaccination data that uh, has historically been examined there. Um, and then finally, at the bottom, we have these uh, different tables. Uh, with one feature that is um, related to the tag. So you can, you can actually see that uh, different data sources can have different categorizations so that they're easily uh, separated and used for different purposes, lineless data, situation reports, et cetera. So one, um, what we've been working on is, is making um, this more friendly and more usable to people outside of our team. And um, additional features that we're hoping to expand include um, this use of the unified data set. So uh, we hope that we can sort of select certain observation collections that are tagged so that there's automated cleaning of, of these key data sets. And we also hope to display epidemic curves based on those uh, unified data. We're hoping to improve the visualization and layout uh, for a more intuitive design in the country profiles, as well as refining a printable report version of the country profile that can be easily distributed if folks don't have access to the, the, the database itself. And um, towards the end of the year, we're hoping to pilot and provide broader access to Ministry of Health and GTFCC partners uh, with, this, with this site.